Hello, hello. So it's 4 p.m. in Moscow, and I think that it's time to get it started. And our first session is Cambridge Teaching and Learning Materials for B2 First and B2 First for Schools. Irina Putro, Regional ELT Consultant and Projects Manager, Northwest, Northwest Federal District, District of Russia. Hello, Irina. Thank you very much for joining this webinar. Um, can you see your slides? Yes, mm -hmm. I can see them well. And hello, everyone. Uh, and uh, thank you very much, Yulia. Um, and I'm really glad to welcome all you today. My presentation, as you can see, is about the Cambridge University Press teaching and learning materials for B2 First and B2 First for schools. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to tell you about Cambridge official exam relevant title for teens, uh, the new one actually, our general English and exam preparation course books, books for exam preparation and exam practice. Uh, first of all, I'd like to focus your attention on the new Cambridge catalogue. Uh, the pages of this catalog will tell you all about our products. Uh, and let's start Cambridge official exam relevant title, the first point. I'd like to start with the Cambridge official exam relevant title for teens, as I mentioned. Think, second edition, is the English course that develops your students as learners and challenges them to consider global issues uh, such as uh, climate change or important uh, scientific discoveries. With inspirational topics and texts from around the world, pages dedicated to uh, life competences and focused Cambridge English exam practice. This course encourages students to think big in English. So what's new? New life competences syllabus develops students' vital life skills for the future, like uh, managing money, giving constructive feedback, and uh, managing stress, all mapped to the Cambridge frame, uh, framework for life competences. Exciting new reading and listening texts challenge and inspire your students with uh, thought-provoking global topics um, I don't know, from eating bugs to teenage inventors. Uh, more than 30 brand new videos like vlogs, grammar raps, and documentary style videos grab students' attention and give language in context. All teachers and learners' digital tools now in one place Presentation Plus. Practice Extra, Collaboration Plus, and Extra resources all in the same easy-to-use space on Cambridge One. Now teachers can create and customize tests with the Think Test Generator. New mobile first grade book lets you assign and mark homework not only in your classroom, but on the bus, on the train, on the, uh, or on your lunch break. <laughs> And your students now can enjoy mobile-friendly, bite-sized activities and games that they can do on the go. Uh, about uh, exam content. As you can see, there is a new updated exam content in student books and workbooks. So, now teachers can build students' confidence with the Cambridge English exam practice resources. Exam content checked by Cambridge Assessment English helps your students build the confidence they need to succeed in Cambridge English exams. And great news, mock uh, Cambridge Assessment English tests are provided for each exam. Exam content offers extra practice of the language uh, and skills in the students' books. Handly across reference, uh, references immediately following activities in the student's book direct students to corresponding pages in the workbook where they can get additional 
practice and the next slide oh okay uh, this is an example of new and improved workbook uh, it's not no longer in black and white as uh, in the first edition and reflects the unit color as you can see all exam uh, content has been updated and checked for accuracy and level by Cambridge Assessment English. Mm -hmm. Well, Think Second Edition Digital Pack is an absolutely new component, which includes the class-based version of our new Cambridge Exam Preparation Digital Product, Test and Train. The mobile-friendly, easy-to-use test, practice, experience, with uh, the added bonus of a timed practice test. Practice test is available for level 1, level 2, and levels 4 and 5 of Think Second Edition. My colleague Angela will tell you about new Cambridge uh, digital products. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, for teachers, we have produced 20 new teaching tips videos, which are available via QR codes in the teacher's books. They cover life competencies and uh, are presented by lively and engaging presenters. Mm -hmm. And uh, here you can see uh, Think uh, Second Edition publication dates. So it's very, very soon. Okay, the next part, uh, general English plus exam preparation titles. Uh, and uh, this part of my presentation, I'd like to start with the prepare second edition. It is a very popular Lila general English course for school age student with comprehensive Cambridge English qualifications preparation integrated throughout uh, with each Cambridge exam covered by two levels of uh, prepare. This means teachers can use prepare in classes where some students are taking Cambridge exams and other are not. Prepare maintains 20 units per level. This allows all exam topics to be covered at least two times over two books. And PREPARE now has uh, uh, nine levels, taking students from A2 to uh, C1 advanced. Mm -hmm. Key features. Uh, and I'd like to draw your attention to the new digital learning environment on Cambridge One. It provides easy access to all teaching and learning materials in one place and across multiple devices. New life skills sections help students to develop competencies uh, they will need for the rest of their lives, uh, such as teamwork, decision-making, social responsibilities, uh, creativity, and presentation skills. Actually, we have very positive feedback from teachers and learners about uh, new culture sections. They like illuminating articles and videos which activate learners' curiosity about the wider world. And I think it's very important that in prepare, selected words and phrases are carefully benchmarked to the CEFR exam level and given special attention in dedicated vocabulary practice sections. Additional language allows learners to take their English even further, reflecting real usage in everyday uh, English. Mm -hmm. uh, exam joining. For each Cambridge English qualification for schools, PREPARE has a level which works towards the exam and an exam, book, uh, exam level book. In the towards exam uh, book, level six, is towards B2 first for schools. Exam tasks are gently introduced, helping students to build their confidence. 
In the exam level books, level seven is for B2 first for schools. The prepare for the exam sections in each unit provide complete coverage of every exam question. And one more new thing. All reading texts in prepare are now supported with audio. I think it's really great. And uh, as may you know, as many uh, of you may know, uh, prepare direct students to further test guidance and support in the exam sections, which contains full tests with tips and uh, information. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned earlier, new life skills sections help students to develop competencies they will need for the rest of their lives, such as teamwork, keeping fit, social responsibilities, creativity, and presentation skills. This is an example of an updated culture section. Shopping in London, the Paralympics, team sports, uh, TV, social media, and many more subjects are explored through the updated culture sections and serve to activate learners' curiosity about the wider world. New videos support the culture topic, providing further insight and language learning opportunities. I know that uh, lots of teachers do projects with their students. In Prepare Second Edition, uh, projects appear every two units to encourage even more collaboration in uh, class. All notes and extension ideas are included in teacher's book. Okay. All your teaching and learning resources are in one place on Cambridge One. Mm -hmm. Uh, the new full color teacher's book is interleaved with the student's book, making lessons even easier to plan and uh, follow. Teacher's Digital Pack deliver engaging learning experiences through a rich range of teaching materials, all available in one place on Cambridge One. They are Presentation Plus. Uh, this digital tool uh, allows teachers to deliver the course content at the front of class or online for remote lessons. Test Generator helps to create your own unit, term and final tests to measure progress and at two levels of difficulty. Teacher resources include class audio and video and printable worksheets for language, skills, and grammar practice. Online activities in Practice Extra motivate learners with a learning path, bite-side practice, games, and achievement badges. Cambridge brand new digital product test and train ensures your students are exam ready with authentic Cambridge exams practice from A to K for schools to C1 advanced. And uh, as you can see, students book gives easy, uh, ebook uh, gives easy access to the digital version of uh, the print book. Uh, actual teachers very often say that they need more extra materials. Prepare Teachers Digital Pack provides teachers with lots of downloadable worksheets, such as vocabulary and grammar worksheets at two levels of difficulty. Extra literature, extra speaking, extra writing, video and games worksheets. Also, there are two Cambridge exams available to download for each exam level. All these materials support and extend learning in class. In addition, you can find videos showing two complete B2 First for Schools speaking exams and accompanying worksheets. Okay. 
Uh, and finally, you can see students' components. Uh, student book with ebook and workbook with digital pack. Okay. Uh, the next, the next uh, very uh, popular uh, title, Open World. Open World is an uh, exciting course pushing students beyond the boundaries between exam preparation and real world uh, language. This means it can be used in a range of teaching contexts. This course covers all the topics and language needed for learners preparing from A to K to C1 advanced. Open World is for adults and young adults, upper secondary students, and uh, Open World uh, covers the standard exams and is aimed at adults, but uh, its modern design can be easily used with teenagers. Open World uses one book for each exam level, and as you can imagine, it's a, a challenging course. There are 14 units plus one starter unit per uh, level. Mm -hmm. Its unique uh, exam journey provides a, a systematic route to exam success, uh, leading learners from exam uh, training tasks to full exam question uh, practice. The real world texts uh, and videos give the learners a chance to demonstrate their English abilities um, they need to communicate effectively in the open world. Push yourself sections extend students' uh, capability and confidence to an even higher level. You can ask your students to launch uh, mobile animations before or after class uh, just to spark learning with grammar on the move. Uh, and Open World includes a complete digital package for the teachers for classroom presentation, uh, assessment and actually extra exam practice. Open World maximizes students' performance uh, with its unique exam, exam journey, uh, providing a systematic route uh, to exam success. Exam training sections begin the exam journey in each unit, providing initial exposure to and practice of an exam task. Exam uh, focus tasks build on the same exam tasks that are introduced earlier in the unit uh, through the exam training sections. The difference is they are full exam tasks as seen uh, in the exam. In later units, exam checkboxes uh, review uh, what students already know about each uh, task. Exam training sections are in the same style as uh, um, our popular training series. Mm -hmm. Exam training tasks uh, expose the learners to each exam question type, giving them uh, the confidence to progress to full task practice in the exam focus uh, sections. This means you start the practice with the training exercises in the unit and then finish with full practice in the exam focus folder at the end of each unit. Mm -hmm. Exam folders are very popular with objective uh, users. So we wanted to do something similar with this course. Uh, there are more tips, more advice, and more exam practice in every unit. Uh, each unit has a, a separate exam focus uh, with the full exam tasks and a familiarization task. Exam tips and exam facts uh, given throughout the exam focus pages develop uh, the students' strategies uh, for exam success. Okay, 
A lot of research told us that learners and students want to see a, a stronger real world connection in our books. In open world, we do this every unit and in a dedicated real world section. In each unit, uh, the real world section uses dynamic listening and text to open up real world language knowledge introducing common and yet surprising expressions. Mm -hmm. This helps to prepare students uh, for the unexpected. Destinations around the world introduce everyday scenarios that learners are likely to encounter on their English speaking journey. Video and audio, and audio serve as a basis for authentic uh, language examples as well as a further listening practice for the learners. Video activities are integrated into the real world sections uh, to accompany documentary style reports uh, connected to the theme of the section. Flipped classroom flexibility means teachers can choose uh, where and when their students watch the videos. Every video is available via a QR code or via presentation plus or through a URL, uh, URL link in the teacher's book. Each real-world lesson ends with a link to a life competence, a lifelong skill taken from the Cambridge life competencies. Push yourself sections extend students' uh, capability and confidence to an even higher level. Uh, these sections allow students to stretch to the CEFR level above their current exam. And uh, uh, you, uh, teacher, decides if uh, to use the push yourself sections with their students. These sections are meant to challenge learners, so they should only be used if this kind of challenge is relevant to a particular learner or class. At B2 first level, this means uh, students can choose to extend their practice to C1 advanced level in each push yourself section. Okay. Grammar on the move. Sections in each unit uh, launch mobile grammar animations which can be used before, during, or after classes to help support learning. Writing bank, speaking bank, phrasal verb builder, and grammar reference sections give extra exam practice with the further language, uh, skills development, and exam practice. Uh, that's all about open world, I think. Exam preparation materials. For B2 first and first for schools, we have a grand total of seven courses. All these courses are relevant for exam preparation and are really uh, popular. But today I'm going to give you a quick overview of complete and uh, uh, compact new editions. Mm -hmm. Complete new third edition features a great new look and uh, feel inside and out uh, with uh, thorough preparation for B2 first. This stimulating topic-based series covers every part of the exam in detail, uh, ensuring uh, your students are fully equipped to tackle each part of every paper. Language work is uh, fully integrated with exam preparation in uh, each unit. 
The complete series combines the very best uh, in contemporary classroom practice with the first-hand knowledge of the challenges students face when taking Cambridge English uh, qualifications. The series offers an integrated approach with exam information and advice and practice alongside the language development. Exercises are based on exclusive uh, insights into real exam candidates' uh, areas of difficulty from the Cambridge Learner Corpus to help students avoid common mistakes. Vocabulary section is informed by English profile and uh, fantastic teacher resources and support are available and the teacher's book and online. Um, key features. Complete uh, first, third edition is the most uh, thorough uh, preparation for B2 first. Complete is trusted by millions of candidates uh, worldwide and uh, the new updated edition uh, continues to provide preparation, practice, information and advice to ensure uh, that students are fully prepared for the exam. Complete's exam journey uh, through each unit focuses learners on different exam tasks and uh, familiarize, uh, familiarizes uh, them uh, with the exam format and exam strategies, languages and skills needed for exam uh, success. Every unit is carefully designed to help students uh, speak, listen, read and write with confidence about the everyday topics covered by B2 first. The popular exam advice boxes provide up-to-date tips uh, and uh, accompany every exam task in every unit. Uh, this edition uh, uh, provides an exclusive digital package for teachers for classroom um, presentation, uh, assessment and uh, extra practice. Test and trained and practice extra included in Cambridge One Digital Pack build exam strategies and skills in a mobile friendly environment. So what's new? All new reading and listening texts with in-depth language analysis to ensure level appropriacy and increased challenge. Uh, all new texts. These have been carefully checked to provide the right challenge to learners studying towards B2 first. Uh, this is in response to feedback from teachers uh, for the previous edition. The same themes are relevant to exam preparation, but the tests are new. Teachers uh, tell us uh, they, live, uh, they love complete because it's uh, so complete. It covers everything. A completely integrated approach, uh, each lesson prepares students for exam tasks uh, with step-by-step -step vocabulary, grammar, and skills development, as you can see these examples. Uh, every unit of complete focuses on different exam questions, familiarizing learners with the exam format and the strategies, language and skills needed for exam success. The popular exam advice boxes provide up-to-date tips uh, and now accompany every exam task in every unit. Uh, and every unit contains one practice question from each uh, exam paper. Uh, as you can see, all new reading and listening texts uh, uh, with uh, uh, language analysis to ensure level appropriacy and uh, increase the challenge. Okay, speaking practice includes samples of candidates answering uh, exam tasks. 
and uh, as you can see students can uh, students are directed to further practice in the writing bank a uh, speaking bank phrasal verb builder or grammar reference these sections give uh, extra exam practice with uh, further language uh, skills development uh, and exam practice and finally uh, new digital packs for teachers and learners uh, compact b2 first third edition it offers short, intensive exam preparation for B2 first. It is for adults and young adults, upper secondary students. Uh, and the Compact B2 first, third edition is aimed at adults, but it can be easily used with teenagers if the for schools needs are not necessary. Updated design now makes this popular intensive course even easier to use with a clear step-by-step -step approach to each exam uh, paper. Organized by exam skill, each unit uh, focuses on one part of each exam paper and provides tips and advice. Grammar, vocabulary and error correction exercises train students to avoid common exam mistakes. Now with the full digital support for teachers um, and uh, test and train and practice extra included in the Cambridge One digital uh, pack. Okay. Brand new and engaging uh, treatment of all reading and listening texts uh, encourage more discussion and interest with uh, new design uh, photos and easy navigation new qr activated grammar on the move videos allow teachers and students uh, to make the most use of their time and effort before or during the class uh, Compact's update design makes this popular intensive course even easier to use with a clear step-by-step -step approach to each exam paper. Extra vocabulary and grammar exercises help students to build confidence as they tackle each question type. Uh, essential strategies for exams in the popular exam tip boxes are updated uh, and extended to give even deeper support and uh, uh, advice this new edition as you can see uh, includes a writing bank a speaking bank phrasal verb builder and a grammar reference a section with the practice exercises uh, I would like to mention that writing bank uh, provides examples from past exam papers they are used to highlight important language areas to help students avoid potential areas of uh, confusion. And a new digital pack for teachers and uh, learners. Okay, uh, let's uh, uh, summarize. I think uh, this table is really informative and shows the differences among these Cambridge exam preparation series. Exam practice. Okay. Uh, the official Cambridge exam titles to practice for B2 first and uh, b to first for schools uh, are practice tests trainers uh, grammar and vocabulary common mistakes uh, exam boosters these titles are very well known so let's uh, just have a quick overview practice tests each set contains four complete practice tests from cambridge assessment english for the most authentic test preparation uh, available. Grammar and vocabulary offers a complete coverage uh, of the grammar and vocabulary needed for the B2 first and B2 first for schools exams 
and develops listening skills at the same time. Actually, I really like uh, this book. Uh, common mistakes highlights uh, typical mistakes learners make at th this level. What about trainers and boosters? Let's look at these titles in more details. The first exam booster is suitable for Cambridge English qualifications, B2 first and B2 first for schools, the same book and can be used on its own or alongside our exam courses for extra exam practice. Uh, first exam booster focuses on essential exam practice and maximizes learner's potential with dedicated exam task practice for class or home study. 54 exam tasks practice each part of the exam three times while exam facts provide uh, practical information about each task. Exam tips provide useful advice on how to approach the exercises and get it right boxes highlight typical candidate errors in exam. Trainers. Uh, they are the perfect companion for Cambridge English qualifications preparation. As well as six full practice tests, they offer easy to follow expert guidance and exam tips designed to guarantee exam success. The first two tests are fully guided with step-by-step -step advice on how to tackle each paper. Extra practice activities are informed uh, by a bank of real candidates exam papers and focus on areas where students typically need more helps. And uh, this is a new edition of practice tests for B2 first for uh, schools. It uh, uh, features QR codes for quick access to audio and speaking uh, video. Uh, as I said earlier, there are four complete practice tests from Cambridge Assessment English and a very helpful and useful resource bank with extra writing samples, uh, examiner commentary and answer keys with extra explanations for reading and listening. Uh, we are almost finished. <laughs> There is a lot of useful information on our website. Uh, here you can uh, see the screenshot. Um, explore our teaching and learning experience further through sample content, video, audio, and free resources, including guides to teaching remotely with uh, our uh, courses. Okay. Thank you very much for being with me today. And uh, here you can see my contact details. Uh, you can uh, write me, send me emails and uh, answer your questions. Please don't hesitate. And of course, you can join me um, uh, in my VK account. Uh, I will be really glad to welcome you. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to give the floor to my colleague Angela Tatasian. Thank you for your kind attention and please, please don't hesitate to write your questions, to answer your questions, to ask your questions, sorry. Yeah, Irina, thank you very much. Thank you for this great overview of uh, materials. Mm, for B2 first. Uh, I have one question. Right before the webinar, we received a call from one of our customers and um, uh, the teacher asked us about uh, preparation materials for B2 first. She's teaching uh, students, they are 14 years old and uh, she tries to choose between complete and compact. Which one would you recommend? Irina, are you still there? All right, uh, Yulia, uh, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can, Angela. Yeah, I mean, I can uh, uh, yes, probably, yes, if you don't people. mind. Yes, uh, yes, so, uh, did I understand you right that it was uh, uh, how to choose between complete or compact? Yes, and, exactly. What, so, what's the main difference uh, and uh, which uh, is better for... And the age group? 14 years. Okay, 14 years. Um, I think the main difference uh, that you uh, might consider is how much time you have got, because uh, if uh, you have got more than 110, 105 hours, uh, so that uh, would be absolutely enough uh, to go for a complete series. But if you are short of time uh, and if your students are already uh, you know, confident, um, then you can uh, take the shorter course, uh, the compact. And, uh, it is, uh, let's say, designed for 50, 60 hours, and uh, it is just for the overview of uh, the skills that you have already developed. So this is just a good preparation before, uh, before the exam. Uh, so there is no new language introduction or, uh, you know, certain um, uh, lengthy uh, and profound uh, um, uh, practice and preparation like we have in complete. So I think uh, it's uh, the most important uh, issue in this case, uh, how much time you have got at your disposal before, uh, uh, before you apply, uh, uh, register your candidates. Uh, Angela, thank you very much. But does it mean well, when you say shorter, does it mean that there is less material? Uh, there are less materials, less resources. Um, no, this is uh, the, uh, actually uh, um, probably yes. There's, uh, because I mean, if we uh, say that there are, uh, uh, you need uh, 50, 60 hours with compact and uh, uh, 100 hours above with one, uh, complete series. So that means that complete has got more resources, and more materials, and um, compact has got less. You, it is less in, uh, intensive course, let's say. It is quite a concise uh, course just before the exam uh, uh, registration, I would say. Thank you very much. And I have another question. Huh? Uh, really, really often our teachers ask us about it. So do they, uh, well, if they choose, for example, complete or compa uh, compact, uh, do they need to choose some extra materials, additional uh, books like trainer or booster? You know, there is, uh, uh, they say practice makes perfect. Certainly, I mean, it's, it's uh, obviously it would be a good idea to supplement uh, any of these uh, course books so with uh, uh, practice tests. It is, I mean, important for the students to see the, uh, um, to first of all, to understand uh, the time uh, consequences uh, for, uh, for example, if you are writing a complete uh, B2 first test, so the students should have the, the uh, full understanding of the whole exam duration. And I think it would be certainly useful uh, for um, to supplement uh, either complete or compact with uh, practice tests, with authentic practice tests. Thank you very much. Thank you, Angela. Okay. <laughs> very, very clear uh, information. So I'm sure that uh, our uh, webinar attendees will um, will um, find it very helpful and useful. Thank you very much. So thank you, Yulia. Mm -hmm. To your session, actually. So uh, yeah, I'm, could you please okay. download my slides because um, uh -huh. uh, yes, yeah. All right, wonderful. Can you see your presentation? Yes, digital. All right, thank you so much, Yulia. Thank you very much. All right, dear colleagues. Anyway, uh, I'm sorry that I jumped into uh, my colleagues, uh, you know, part of the session um, and did manage to say a proper hello to everyone uh, uh, today. Uh, anyway, I will just start with a big uh, hello to you wherever you are. Um, I mean, good morning, good afternoon, or uh, good evening already. Some of you already uh, wrote in the chat box. Uh, you know, uh, it's, uh, so, uh, I assume somewhere uh, uh, it's already evening. Uh, and I saw also from the chat box that you have been using some of the books and you have got some very complimentary, uh, for, you know, in, uh, insight on, uh, on how important uh, the course books are for preparing uh, for your, uh, you know, um, for the certain exam, for the certain qualification. 
And uh, thank you very much for sharing your insight uh, with your colleagues in the chat box. So today, uh, in this session, we are going to look at digital uh, resources that are available along with uh, print books. And I hope you will find uh, the information useful, though I know that uh, uh, certainly it will depend on uh, your personal situation and your personal preferences. And, uh, and I do hope that you will find something useful um, in this session. Um, so we would uh, look at the digital resources that are available and we would look at uh, where they are available, for how long, uh, because there are some changes there. And um, we will talk how to access the digital components. And the, the uh, next part of my presentation will be our uh, about our new learning environment, Cambridge One. We'll look at how to onboard and how we look at some of the uh, dashboards and functionality for the teachers. And uh, I hope this information would be also useful because uh, um, uh, we already have this uh, experience of uh, uh, being, you know, um, somehow uh, forced to switch to um, remote mode in our teaching. And uh, these digital resources, I'm sure, will help you in any circumstances. Uh, so uh, digital learning with Cambridge now represents a huge variety of sources. Um, so the good news is that there are lots of them and the bad news probably in a way is that sometimes teachers were confused where to find what, but today I think you will find the right answer uh, to, these question, uh, to these questions. Uh, so um, I'm not sure whether any of you are um, familiar with uh, Cambridge Learning Management Systems. Could you please uh, type, um, uh, put a plus or um, minus in the chat box so that I can see that uh, if you are using uh, Cambridge Celebes, mm, great, some of you, wonderful. So thank you colleagues, thank you very much for sharing that information with me. Actually Cambridge Learning Management System has been uh, about 10 years now and with over 11 million codes uh, has been activated. Uh, so it was, um, it, it, it is still a great source, you know, for um, uh, exactly learning, mani uh, uh, managing the learning process and for teachers being able uh, to understand um, the students' weaknesses and uh, strengths, uh, analyzing the performance results. So um, other, uh, thing, uh, other digital resources certainly uh, are Cambridge Dictionary and Cambridge Bookshelf. I'm not sure whether you have been using Cambridge Bookshelf, but I would say that the big news is now that the content of the Cambridge Bookshelf is going to migrate to our new learning platform, Cambridge One. And uh, there is, uh, and uh, we will speak more in detail a bit later today. There is also a huge um, um, support for the teachers, uh, as I uh, see it, uh, the presentation tool. Um, especially, I could uh, feel that during uh, the pandemic lockdown, uh, when I had to send uh, day and night uh, the codes for presentation plus tool, because that gave teachers a huge, um, you know, support um, to conduct their lessons um, remotely. Um, um, it is just a um, terrific resource and we would again look at uh, presentation plus uh, because I'm not sure if all the teachers um, are aware about this tool and you might want to consider um, for your new adoptions and certainly there is another good resource a quite new one for the teachers especially uh, um, a wonderful uh, uh, way of uh, you know uh, paying um, attention to uh, professional development, that is the world of better learning. And there are lots of lots of uh, articles, lesson plans, uh, videos uh, on uh, all different aspects of teaching and learning English. And certainly you, there is also possible to, you, to watch some of the um, webinars on uh, Cambridge YouTube. Um, along with other materials that uh, Cambridge is initiating. Um, 
so uh, let's uh, move on to the next one next slide and here i am providing you with the link to the blog uh, so please go uh, ahead and uh, try uh, to uh, see what is there for you if you want to get more personalized information and article and webinars um, it's better to sign in there and make it more you know um, uh, useful for you personally what is your professional interest and what type of articles you would like uh, to read um, so um, I think it's a great resource for the teachers please uh, do save this link uh, um, and uh, go there sometime when you have time okay so the next one is um, Cambridge eSource uh, could you please uh, also type in the chat box if you have been downloading any resources from the e-source do you know about this uh, link do you know about this site no okay no no yeah so oh, good so right so somebody so i think the majority um, of the teachers are not quite aware about it uh, the thing is, if you have been using Cambridge books, especially the exam titles, uh, complete, open world, compact uh, for uh, schools and compact, uh, um, uh, compact uh, first for schools, uh, prepare series, then uh, you uh, might have noticed that there, uh, in the front cover of the teacher's book, there is a code. So you might, uh, or you might have not noticed or paid attention to that, but it would be a great uh, way of uh, accessing to all the resources that Irina was saying. Uh, these um, resources uh, include uh, photocopyable worksheets on grammar, vocabulary, literature, um, so tests, a uh, great source. So please, if you are using any of these books, pay attention to the first page because it will provide you with the code to the e-source. And the link is here. I think it's also given in the teacher's book and you can uh, just um, get access to all those uh, resources with that code. Okay, uh, so let's move on to the next slide. And now, as I said also, there is this Presentation Plus tool, which is a great source of presentation and lesson planning and presentation, whether you are teaching face-to-face -face or remotely. And the best thing here, uh, here is just an example from Prepare Second Edition B2 level. And there is student book, workbook, teacher's book, in some presentation plus there are games and uh, most of the presentation plus uh, software will also provide links to the uh, cambridge dictionary or to the product site so um, what is uh, absolutely um, wonderful here uh, that um, the students book and workbook are with interactive exercises and with audio video so it is just one click to all the resources that uh, the course um, uh, that goes with the course here you have got an example from again uh, prepare second edition level six it's uh, b2 first for schools preparation uh, book and there is this uh, student book and you can see the icon here the audio it is just one click and you uh, can listen uh, to the uh, audio and uh, because we imagine that uh, there are uh, mixed classes with mi uh, mixed ability classes uh, for uh, some classes you would also need uh, the transcript and you can open it right away if you are working either on uh, language of the listening text or you are developing the skills you are highlighting the words which would uh, uh, help them um, yes clear what's saying yeah, that uh, listening is also a very challenging part of the exam and we all have to teach and spend uh, quite a lot of time with different activities uh, for your students uh, to be able uh, to feel confident that listening part and so working with the language with the grammar with the intonation uh, uh, I think the transcript is uh, here is uh, just great um, that it is provided and you can use it as a part of the uh, lesson preparing uh, your students for the listening part and uh, besides there is also uh, from the multimedia 
be, uh, it, by the way, I would like to say that the student book, uh, depending on your needs, you can uh, have a single page or a double page uh, view on your screen. And there is also in the exam content, I think it is quite important that you have a timer. Um, on, on this slide, you can see here the timer, which is a very good, uh, you know, planning uh, and doing any activity. And uh, you can uh, always uh, move forward or backward, or you can also zoom in and zoom out uh, of the certain parts of the page. So it is very, very convenient when you are teaching remotely. But I said it is also great when you are teaching face-to-face. Uh, -face. So here is an example of an um, activity, which uh, uh, is about uh, uh, exam tip. Um, the students, uh, Actually, this is from the, this part. The students need to read the full text. This is a reading task. And um, before they do this uh, activity, uh, the, it's, uh, in an interactive mode, they can um, understand, they can prepare for the exam, answering to the certain questions, and they can uh, check and see the answers instantly. Um, here is another example of Presentation Plus from Open World and uh, Grammar on the Move. Um, like we said, um, there are these wonderful um, uh, uh, small videos, um, I think, which is uh, absolutely great for the flipped classroom. If you are teaching for, um, if you are, uh, you know, for the flipped classroom, the students can watch them on their mobile, or you might want uh, to uh, watch the video together during the class. And it's very easy again with one click. Uh, you can share the screen with your students and uh, um, look at uh, the uh, grammar on the move uh, videos discussing different grammar issues. Um, the next one that I would like to show you is um, oh, uh, just to very quickly to say that, as you can see here, there is a student book, the workbook, teacher's book, and the links. Um, it's absolutely easy to work with this because um, just it is one click uh, to uh, very quickly to switch on the necessary page, either in the student book and the workbook. And when you are planning and preparing for the lesson, uh, the teacher's book is handy all the time. Um, so uh, the next important um, software for all our print courses is the test generator. And I think this is a great resource because we need to practice uh, all the time um, the language, the vocabulary, uh, the, the, vocab uh, the vocabulary as well as uh, the grammar. And uh, certainly uh, uh, the tests are there for every unit, uh, you can see here, for compact first for schools. Um, there are unit tests, term tests, and final tests. And you can save your tests in different uh, for, again, because we uh, have to keep in mind that uh, we are teaching um, different classes here uh, with uh, weaker students or with more motivated students. That's why there are uh, two modes of uh, uh, one uh, of the test, standard mode uh, for the weaker students and plus test for the uh, most, uh, you know, uh, motivated and stronger students. And um, while we learn, while we progress, uh, we can always, um, you know, analyze and see what are the weaknesses, what are the common errors that uh, the students make, and you can always uh, mix and match those units and grammar and vocabulary uh, items and create uh, uh, the question, uh, create your own test by selecting the questions. So great way of, you know, multiple times uh, practicing and uh, testing um, the course material. So uh, we move on to the learning platforms now. And um, as most of you already, some of you have been using uh, Cambridge Learning Management System main, and I think that uh, um, those who have been confident using the Learning Management System uh, LMS, I think they would also love uh, to uh, move on to Cambridge one, um, because it allows and uh, uh, most, of, most of the time we are just assuming what our students uh, have learned or what our students can do. 
And the, these platforms enable us to not make us just assumptions, but to have um, data which we can analyze and uh, uh, plan our uh, lessons accordingly, saving a huge amount of time. Um, so here on this slide, you can uh, just the main information here is that the learning management system is retiring. Uh, those of you who have been teaching uh, and using Cambridge Learning Management System platform. Uh, and but it will retire completely by 2024, and all the resources will migrate to Cambridge One, um, which uh, here we have got again the prepare second edition demo. Uh, colleagues, you were asking if there are any uh, sites where you can um, download demos or you can download the sample papers of uh, exam titles and here we, where you can do it. Please remember this link like of uh, Cambridge One, uh, Cambridge One uh, uh, as a one word dot org slash helm. And that's where would, you would find uh, the demos of um, compact, complete, uh, prepare and open world. So that's absolutely free for the teachers and you can download all the resources that are available for each title and you can um, practice and look through uh, before ad uh, adopting the books, before adopting the titles. As I uh, looked into the chat box, some, uh, somebody has, uh, is just, uh, you know, looking for the book uh, to adopt. Just very quickly to say that in the meantime, uh, we still have Cambridge Learning Management System main uh, uh, working and there are uh, courses which are available there prepare complete compact second edition and uh, there are also uh, teaching with modules for the teachers as i said uh, it is not only about the books but also helping teachers to understand the methodology the concept and um, what, how to teach with these titles so uh, there are all these titles available on the platform uh, if you are uh, just uh, want uh, if you are just planning to switch to one of these titles to start teaching with prepare but you first might want to understand what the methodology is and uh, what um, learning materials are available for you so it is uh, it would be a good idea to start with prepare uh, how to teach with prepare second edition for example a module for the teachers so moving to the Cambridge one and um, which is, uh, as I already mentioned, there's a new flexible learning environment for uh, language learners and teachers. And uh, what is really nice that all teachers and students resources, uh, um, including homework, uh, homework activities, presentation plus, uh, test generator, class audio and video, all these resources are going to be in one place. Um, uh, as I said, there were lots of the resources, e-source, platform, uh, Cambridge site. So the teachers most of the time were confused where uh, to get um, uh, certain resources. Now uh, we are going, we have done a huge amount of work, uh, at least my colleagues in, in Cambridge to, um, uh, to perform and to develop this uh, to develop this new platform, Cambridge One, which will um, have all the resources in one place. Um, and um, as I said, what is special about it, that all in one place across multiple devices, which is also very important. So it is compatible with uh, mobile phones, with uh, tablets or uh, desktop computers or notebooks. And the resources and activities are uh, absolutely age appropriate, starting with very young learners and uh, ending with adult learners uh, um, at the C1 level at this point, because uh, now as, uh, we haven't got uh, yet uh, C2 proficiency materials on the platform. And certainly, as I said, the data the teachers can trust and which is absolutely ma meaningful to guide teachers uh, um, in the teaching process, in planning the lessons, and certainly keeping learners motivated. Um, so uh, for easy access, there is a desktop app, and you can download it on your computer. 
uh, to access the resources quickly. Uh, so for the st students, there is a test and train because uh, the context of our uh, presentation uh, today is B2 first and B2 first for schools. Um, so all our print books have got uh, um, the digital support on Cambridge One. Uh, so the, for the students, there is test and train component, practice extra, uh, e-books. Uh, what is practice extra? Uh, actually, on Cambridge Learning Management System, we uh, used to have a student book with online workbook. Now, we actually do not have online workbooks. There are going to be student books, workbooks, but there is going to be extra practice, which means that the content of the workbook is not repeated on the Cambridge One side. It is for extra practice. Uh, and it is bite-sized practice uh, where the students can do uh, activities anywhere, anytime they want, uh, five-minute activities uh, uh, every day or every hour would help them to become more confident uh, in uh, language learning. And there are e-books also uh, for the students. For the teachers, uh, test and train uh, component, um, uh, practice extra, e-book, test generator, presentation plus, teacher resources and audio. So how to get um, all these resources for the teachers? Um, um, there are, uh, when you are adopting a book, you can, um, when you are adopting a book, you can uh, so buy uh, the test and train, uh, for example, as a part of your printed course. Or if you haven't thought about uh, practicing or tra uh, preparing your students exactly uh, for the certain exam, or at this level, or or you um, haven't thought about practice materials, you can always uh, uh, buy a standalone code um, and um, uh, provide uh, the the practice, the exam practice uh, for your uh, students. So let's move on to the next part. Uh, just a couple of uh, words about Cambridge One the key benefits of those that I have mentioned, plus it is easy to board on, it is easy to log on, it's user-friendly and mobile optimized, which is uh, also we have mentioned, and uh, it provides teacher and student autonomy. Um, I will show a little bit how later. Uh, the student uh, Certainly it will provide evidence of student progress uh, through uh, multiple devices and with bite-sized uh, practice uh, will motivate uh, learners uh, to perform better. And um, how to uh, log in? Uh, it is uh, for adult students, uh, the adult students can log in with their social media account or their email address. Uh, or uh, similarly, if they have been using Cambridge Learning Management System CLMS, they can use their uh, login and password uh, to log into the Cambridge One. Um, uh, you as a teacher or an administrator, by the way, uh, can um, uh, register your school and invite the teachers to join uh, the, it, it is like creating a school campus and you can uh, invite the teachers and the students. Uh, you can enroll the students into the classes, into the groups. Uh, so, uh, or you can register as an individual teacher if you are not working in an institution. It is okay to uh, reg uh, sign in as an individual teacher and you do not need to uh, create school account, which is actually done very uh, simply. Um, so, as I already mentioned here about uh, ma uh, managing the school account, creating classes and having access uh, to the uh, teaching resources. For the teachers, the key feature is that uh, Cambridge One provides all resources in one place and it helps uh, to analyze and to get access to the student uh, progress and uh, reduces certainly time. Uh, spending uh, spent on marking and assists the professional development because they are like uh, with the um, Cambridge Learning Management System on the Cambridge one we uh, have uh, in my library 
the teacher training modules as well. So here now we have got uh, teacher training modules for, uh, for some titles. Eventually we are going to have teaching with uh, prepare, complete, compact. So uh, all these uh, uh, teacher modules will be available soon on, uh, on Cambridge One. Uh, so it is a very, very useful uh, because, I mean, when you start teaching without understanding the methodology, it will take quite a, uh, quite a, some, uh, quite a you know, time to find out where the resources are. Most of the time I get uh, the uh, questions from the teachers, uh, oh, where do I get the video, where do I get the test, I can't find uh, the, the tapes, uh, transcripts or I can't find the key to the course. Uh, so all these uh, answers are given uh, in the teaching with uh, modules for the teachers. In, in my library now there are, uh, there are all the titles that are available on Cambridge One and as I already mentioned please remember that you can uh, uh, assess and view all the materials, the sample materials here, uh, resources on my, in my library. Here you can see compact first demo. So you don't need any codes, you don't need to buy anything. It is just uh, sign in on Cambridge One and uh, uh, download the compact first demo and uh, you would be able to have a look at all the resources that are available for this series. Uh, so next to it is complete series, uh, similarly, and you would also have a um, demo for prepare and open world as well. But the open world, I think it is only available at the advanced level demo, which doesn't really matter if you want just to get the understanding uh, of the full resources, digital resources, it will uh, provide you uh, the insight. Right, and uh, as I said, there is also a student, um, student book available in ebook format. And um, again, depending on your needs, uh, might be quite uh, convenient to uh, consider also not only the print books, but also the ebooks. Uh, so let's look at the teacher dashboards very quickly. So the teachers will be able to see the class data. Uh, to assign home a home task and to have uh, ex um, to access all the teaching uh, materials that are available for the course and uh, for the students they would see my uh, their progress actually uh, this is my progress the meaning for the students my progress my homework and practice extra so this is an example from a prepare demo so my classes tab um, the, when the teachers sign on the platform, uh, they can uh, create uh, a class. For example, uh, it might be prepare level seven class. And, um, and uh, so for, for uh, you can name a, uh, as, uh, I mean, you can name the classes as you like, and then you would have the class data, which means that you will uh, enroll all your students but the way students can uh, either join themselves, so because we are speaking about adult students, B2 first and B2 first for schools, uh, so they are quite independent learners and uh, they can enroll. You just need to provide the class code. When you create a class, uh, the class code is created automatically and you give the class code to the students and they would be able to join the class uh, using the uh, codes which are provided in their students' books. And um, so uh, you will have the data uh, having, uh, uh, we would look a little bit more closer to the class data in the, I think, next slide. Uh, you will be able also to sign uh, homework and you will have access to all the resources that are available uh, for, uh, for this course. So um, for the teacher in, mit in materials, you can see here there is presentation plus, practice extra so that you know what uh, tiles, tasks are you assigning your students. There is test and train exam practice, uh, test and train practice test. We will look at these two a bit later. And uh, there are teacher, other teacher resources uh, and you can download them on your computer as a one zip file. There is also a separate class audio um, along with the presentation plots, which is 
uh, as we already uh, look at the examples uh, I provided you in the previous slides, uh, Presentation Plus have all the multimedia resources that you have need for the lesson. Uh, so if you, but if you do not uh, download the Presentation Plus, you might need uh, just separate class audio to download on your uh, computer. Um, so let's look at the class, uh, what the teacher sees when goes to the class. Yeah? The teacher can see how many times the student has attempted an activity and what their first and best scores are because we are uh, uh, thinking to encourage our students to motivate that they improve their results. They can also see how much time a student has spent actively answering the questions. So all these icons would give you uh, the information. Um, besides Cambridge One enables to quickly get to the relevant data using filters and sorting. Uh, so visual clues uh, uh, help identify the key uh, five metrics, overall achievement, completion, activity scored at or above target score, activity scored below target score, uh, as well as engagement. So this data you can use for different purposes, analyzing um, and uh, using the information uh, to uh, plan uh, accordingly for the lessons. So uh, learner data, what the learners see. Yeah, uh, here is for the primary, but it is very much, uh, um, uh, it is just um, uh, the main difference here that uh, for the primary, we have got medals to uh, make them happy, uh, happy, uh, you know, gold medals uh, if they complete the tasks uh, uh, without uh, without mistakes or above target. And uh, for the grown-ups, it's going to be a percentage, not the gold medal. Um, so like uh, bronze medals for, as I said, for the primary uh, students, um, uh, uh, the students also can see how many times they have uh, tried uh, to complete the activities, the best uh, uh, and the first score of their attempts and unfinished activities, what they still have to complete. So um, now let's look how to set homework and how to track homework and how to do homework for uh, in case of students. Um, so the in as I said already, uh, when you have signed that you have your class uh, name, uh, you go to the assignment tab and in the assignment tab you can create the assignment and um, you, know, you can choose the dates. Uh, uh, so you can give certain time, uh, yeah, uh, open the dates when uh, the students can do, uh, complete the tasks. Uh, so this is very important uh, both for the discipline and, uh, you know, uh, keeping track of uh, how well they are progressing uh, and the time spent, action um, in assignments. So uh, this is the information that uh, you would be able uh, to follow. Uh, so to assign, to set the date and then to analyze uh, how they have been uh, performing. So now we are moving to the um, test and train because like you said, um, it is very important um, uh, the main question we started is if uh, we need to practice. I think yes, and it is always uh, a good idea, even though you learn the language, even you, though you um, feel confident using the language, uh, exam strategy is uh, also very important and the timing is very important and uh, being familiar with the format is very important. Yeah, So uh, that is why practicing uh, for the exam uh, is uh, quite important. And test and train is a mobile friendly uh, test practice uh, with a timed uh, practice test. Now, there is a slight difference. There are two different versions, class-based and self-study. So self-study, doesn't it does mean that uh, there is no teacher involvement. And class-based is most of the time uh, provided by, um, uh, by the um, codes uh, which are included in the, in, included either in the student book uh, because there might be, for example, compact uh, first for schools with test and train, and the code would be provided in the in the student book, and um, uh, the teacher creates the class in the 
um, on, the, on the platform, Cambridge One, and the students uh, get uh, enrolled uh, using the code in their student books. So, uh, in other cases, the students might want uh, to, uh, you know, to practice, uh, uh, to study, prepare for the exam um, without teacher, uh, uh, without the teacher's help, then uh, they can uh, buy just test and train uh, self-study uh, uh, mode uh, codes. Um, there, what is the difference here? Uh, in in self-study, there are uh, six reading, use of English, and listening papers, and six questions with model answers and examiner notes for each of writing tests. And there is one complete speaking test video with embedded hints and comments. And as I already mentioned, there is no teacher view or intervention, so the teacher doesn't know, see the result, they progress, and can't uh, make any comments. In the class-based version, we have got only one timed practice test set by the teacher. Uh, as you can see, in self-study mode, there is no timed practice test. And this is the main difference, actually. Uh, one of the important uh, things to understand. Uh, for the class-based, we have got one timed practice test. And uh, there are two, only two, exam practices. Uh, two reading and use of English paper, uh, two listening papers, and uh, two questions with model answers and examiner notes for each writing task, and one complete speaking test uh, with uh, embedded hints and comments. Uh, so certainly teacher, uh, uh, the tasks are locked, and the teacher will open the task uh, and assign them and uh, would be able to uh, view and monitor the data. So, um, in the, it's obviously um, the class-based version uh, is mobile friendly, and uh, the students can um, practice uh, and complete the tasks on their mobile phones or their tablets, and. Um, get ready for the time practice tests. Um, so here is the look what they can they can see the activities here and there is a um, uh, there is a, the, the texts are very easy. they can slide the text um, if they click here for example and then they will see the text uh, or the questions and it would be easy very quite easy to uh, to navigate. Um, so, e exam practice uh, for the class-based uh, mode, um, there are, like say, I, would, uh, I, I have already mentioned that um, if the main purpose is uh, to um, uh, provide uh, hints and tips uh, for exam tasks and uh, provide instant feedback. Uh, this is quite important when you are preparing uh, for the exam, I think, uh, and uh, um, the students get uh, the, the experience uh, for the exam day. Um, writing and speaking skills uh, with uh, sample answers and the examiner inside. I should say that uh, reading um, parts and listening parts are auto-marked, while um, writing and speaking parts are only uh, delivered uh, by the PDF files, and this is uh, where the teacher's role all is also quite important. Um, so um, that's the main idea. I think that um, while uh, practice may uh, can the students can practice on uh, using their mobile phones or tablets, but the practice test is conducted only. Uh, the, uh, on laptops, uh, on, um, and it replicates exam condition and timing with one attempt. So, uh, class-based, as I said, the codes will uh, be provided with the books. Uh, there are just to sum up two sets of exam practice, reading, use of English, and listening. And um, speaking and writing are delivered, as I already mentioned, uh, with PDF files. Uh, self-study, in self-study uh, version, uh, on uh, six sets of exam practice, uh, more practice for the students here, and one complete speaking test video 
but no practice test, no teacher uh, invention. Just once again to sum up. And let's look how the uh, instant feedback, um, about the instant feedback, why actually this is quite important. As uh, they progress, the students can see uh, the correct and incorrect answers, and it explains why the answer is correct or incorrect. So I think it's a good uh, way of uh, providing instant feedback and, uh, um, you know, helping the student uh, to uh, uh, get the insight uh, uh, why certain uh, why the answers are right or wrong. So, and the light bulb here gives important hints and strategies how to deal with exam parts. So, writing, as I already mentioned, uh, there are uh, PDF files and uh, there are samples of writing and the uh, teacher's comments, uh, examiner comments on each sample answer, uh, and uh, they can see and read and analyze. And um, similarly, we have got the speaking part with speaking video, again with uh, examiner comments on the performance of each candidate. Uh, uh, which uh, they, uh, the, the video that is provided there. So I think, um, as I already mentioned, the time practice test replicates the computer-based test for reading and use of English and listening. And there is only one single attempt uh, which prepares students for the exam day. So uh, there are, um, uh, if you are interested in um, you know, working on Cambridge One. There are training videos uh, for learners, for teachers, and for parents. And there is um, uh, there are demo materials on Cambridge One. So please, uh, if you have got any questions, I would be very happy to help you through. Otherwise, you can use the links here. I, I assume Yulia will uh, pass on the presentation and you would be able uh, to have these links and uh, um, go and uh, try uh, uh, to, to look at the resources yourself. So this is it for now. I haven't been looking in the chat box, so I think if you have got any questions, Yulia would help me uh, now to pay attention to those questions and try to answer if uh, there are any. Thank you, Kane, for your... And thank you, everyone. Yulia, are you with me? Yes, Angela? Yeah, please. Um, so I would be happy to answer to the questions, if there are any. Let me check the um, question box. So they were there was a question from Odil about um, digital uh, and inter in interactive books on LMS platform. And are all titles available on Cambridge One? Uh, as I said, some of the titles are... Uh, actually, you can um, sign on on the Cambridge One platform and see what is available, depending on what titles you are interested in. Uh, everything that is available now, uh, they are there. Um, so all the prepare levels are available, complete, compact, um, open world advanced is available there. Uh, so I think, I think this is it now for now. But we are going to have all the uh, resources uh, migrating from uh, Cambridge LMS uh, to Cambridge One uh, by the end of this year, I think. Thank you very much. This is really great news. <laughs> so it will be it will be very very helpful. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so Adil was interested in complete. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, on this platform. So oh, okay. He, he yeah. clarified the, his question. Yes. Uh, it's it's it some clarification. Uh, dear friends, any more questions? I see lots of thank you words in the chat box. This session was really, really interesting and useful. Uh, thank you very much, colleagues. Um, uh, I do really appreciate. Um, just here are also the, the contacts of my colleagues. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure that Russia is huge and you might want uh, 
you know, to write your questions wherever you are, Russia, Armenia, whatever, or wherever you are anyway. I would be happy to answer to your questions, or if I don't have the answers, I will contact my colleagues and uh, find out, uh, you know, uh, the answers and help you wherever you are. Uh, so, thank you very much, and I hope this uh, information would be useful uh, when you adopt uh, the certain type of courses. Um, um, all the resources are there for you. Please, please uh, use them, enjoy them, and get uh, more confident with your candidates uh, to have the best possible results for B2 first and uh, first for schools. Thank you very much. Dear friends, I would like to remind you that this session was recorded.